Hello and welcome to another Contentful Creators webinar series, episode number three. I'm Marcelo Lewin, your host, and today my special guest is Matthew Foyle, a solutions engineer for Algolia Search. Today he'll be showing us how to integrate Algolia Search Engine with Contentful using Gatsby JS. It's going to be a really good episode, so stay tuned. Welcome, everybody, to the Contentful plus Algolia plus Search Gatsby Tech Stack Overview webinar presented by Matthew Foyle and hosted by yours truly. I'm Marcelo Lewin. If you have some knowledge of Contentful and Gatsby, that's great. But if you don't, don't worry about it because Matthew is going to guide you from literally step one all the way to delivery. So it's going to be a really, really nice presentation. That's me. You can reach me, Marcelo, at themarcelolewin.com. I'm a content creator and you can find out more about me at themarcelolewin.com. I'm also a content solutions architect for Service Titan, implementing a lot of contentful projects. That's Matthew, and I'm not going to tell you much about him because I'm going to invite him in in just a minute. We're going to have a quick conversation with him, but there is his email, matthew.foil at algolia.com. I do want to remind you whether you're located in Southern California or not, please join our meetup because I do a lot of communication through there for webinars and podcasts that we do. So go to meetup.com slash contentful and just become a member and you'll know when there is a physical meetup that hopefully will resume who knows when this year, but sometime this year. Of course, you'll learn all about our webinars and things like that there. Also, there is a Slack channel that I'd love for you to become a member of and communicate with the presenters afterwards. Just go to bit.ly for forward slash contentful dash creators dash slack. And of course, I have a YouTube channel because it's 2020 and we have to have a YouTube channel. So you can find all my stuff there. More important, I do have a podcast where I interview a lot of people. Actually, Matthew was interviewed on that and he told us all about APIs. It's a great episode, episode number two. So definitely check it out. Go to anchor.fm slash contentful creators. If you don't remember any of those links, just remember this one, contentfulcreators.com. That'll be a landing page where it'll basically have links to everything I just showed you. So please go to contentfulcreators.com and just check out all the stuff there. Matt, welcome to the webinar. Thank you for doing this. I really appreciate it. Why don't you give us a real quick overview of your background? Well, backwards, basically. I went through business school and university thinking since I was no good at maths, I would not be good at programming. And, you know, in half, I might be right on the algorithmic side, but <laughs> I didn't even give it a chance and then joined Twilio. And that gave me a chance through APIs to actually try coding. And it was like black magic. And since mm -hmm. then, I've just been trying to do more and more of it, working in technical customer success or solutions engineering. You just get to hack away at stuff, even if you don't fully do it day to day. As a production engineer, you get to learn on the job. But the thing is, you get to learn everything on the job because you're always doing different things with different customers. So in a way, it's quite an insightful education to have. So you're learning constantly because of the challenges of everybody's unique solution that you have to put together, you're constantly yeah. learning, right? Yeah, you could say, if, let's say a field engineer is useful when the product meets the use case. And you can think of them like two shapes in a jigsaw puzzle. And very rarely do they just slot into each other automatically. Right. Otherwise, you know, it would be a no code world. So how do you stay up to date on everything? Because as a solution engineer, you have to really understand, at least at a very high level, a lot of stuff, right? A lot of different technologies. That's kind of the problem. You don't understand things in as much depth as you could because you're so busy trying to understand a lot of things at a high level. But really, it's just trying everything that you can, stitching APIs together, learning from other creators. Hopefully, some of you listening today have your own content that I can learn from. So it's just keeping up to date with developer advocates who are just trying something new. I learned not waiting until you're perfect at something to expose it to the world. And as long as other people do that, then we can learn from each other a little bit. Right. And it becomes perfect, right? It's an iteration anyway. That's yeah, it. totally. Excellent. Thank you so much for doing this webinar again. So now it is time for Matt to take over. Let's get cracking. Matt, have fun and good luck. Thanks. All right. To the experts out there in the poll, I am not sure that I could add to your already quite lengthy expertise, but let's give it a go. To the intermediates out there, I hope that you'll walk away with something and certainly the newbies of which I was one until recently, this should be helpful too. And I'm starting with that because we have to choose the level of abstraction that we're going to use for this. We need to choose the level of detail that we're going to explain in the code and the internals of how Gatsby works. So I'm going to pick something pretty much in the middle 
not diving into the internals of Gatsby too much. So don't worry if you haven't used it before. Gatsby, as you'll see in a second, runs on a couple of other technologies, or at least runs on top of them, like GraphQL and React. Don't worry about that either. We'll explain as we go. And I'll try to keep this quick and simple. And we have one goal. We are someone who'd like to start a blog, and we know how to program. We know that Algolia does search well, and we have heard in the past that Contentful does content very well. But we're worried about how long it would take to stitch those things together. And we want to try a new framework like Gatsby, because we heard it's cool, we heard it's fast, but we're not quite sure why and how. So our goal is to see if we can get something up and running, to see if we can prove that hypothesis, that it's a good combination of technologies. So I've pre-written a lot of the code for us just to save you and me the time based on typos and everything else. It could have something that fails for, you know, half of the hour that we're talking. But what we'll do is walk through the code, make sure we all understand it and see if we can't get everything working together. Firstly, we're going to use Gatsby. And as you can see here from the Gatsby website, it's got a pretty straightforward explanation of what it is. You'll notice that it calls out React in its main description, which is what it's based on. And you can see a small review of how it works here. So feel free to look at that on the Gatsby website itself. But it's just a web framework is the way I look at it. And you're going to see the way it works through writing some code here. We're going to use two other technologies. The first is Algolia. So I'm going to switch to the Algolia dashboard. And this is what you see when you have an account with us. What I'll do first is, you know what, let's clear out our index to start from scratch. So we have nothing in here. So nothing can be searched upon because nothing's in Algolia. Here we have Contentful and we've created three blog posts manually. So we're starting from almost scratch here. Three blog posts with a very similar content model. They have a title, slug, a hero image, description, the body, 